Okay. Um, so today, um, I'm going to be texturing this leather bag in Subtance Painter. <coughs> so for this, I'm going to be using a reference image to texture this. I already imported my leather bag um, into different texture sets so that I can sorry <coughs> so that I can separate them and just texture them individually so uh, for me it's better that way so that I can have more control and I can see what's actually going on on each piece so I'm going to be separating each piece and texturing, texturing them uh, so I'm not going to worry about all these artifacts here because um, by the time I'm done texturing them they won't be visible to to those viewing it <coughs> or oh, when I just finish texturing now I can, I can just go back to Photoshop and just correct, correct those and just fill all those portions that are having artifacts in my bag <coughs> but I won't be worrying too much about them, so I'm just gonna take continue and just texture the whole thing and ignoring them. So I'm gonna start by yeah, I'm gonna be texturing this with a reference image. So I'm just gonna bring up pure ref. I'm gonna bring up pure ref and just put it put it on always on top. So this is gonna be always. So we're gonna be looking at this and texturing it. So I'm gonna be texturing it as my um, texture should be is going to be very close to what you see here. I mean, by by the colors, not be the exact same stroke and fade effect and decay everywhere you see here on my on on my own leather bag also. But I'm going to go as close as possible. So um, I won't be taking too much of your time. That's why I won't be going so detailed in in. Um, Making sure that every single detail you see here is on my is on my leather bag, because that will take a lot of time. So I'm not going to show you my process of getting something as close as this, and the way you understand my workflow, you can just use that and just carry on and use your own reference image to go as close as possible, as in I mean as accurate as possible to your leather to the reference image you're working with. So you want to be you want to be true to your reference image. I mean you want to be get something that actually looks like your reference image so without further ado so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna start texturing this so i'm gonna start by texturing this cover set here so i'm just gonna go in yeah that's it i'm just gonna go in and just solo that and begin texturing i'm going to go to my, to my layers okay a layer and then I'll just start by going to and okay before I continue I I already baked out my maps already so I think I'm gonna be making a video of how I did my of how I imported my okay of how I started this project I wanna do that soon so that part should be the first part before you start watching this next part so I'll just carry on I'll just shrink this in here. So at this time around, I'm not going. To, I'm not going to start with. A, I'm not going to start with a few layer. I'm going to start with a default material, leather material from this my library here. So I'm not going to type. I'm going to type leather, and I'm going to be using this. I don't know if you can see it very well, but it has some kind of color variations on on on, on it. So this should speed up my my the process of texturing this bag. This bag, though it may take a little longer to texture this bag, but let's start with this. So I'm just gonna drag this in here and just drop this. Then take a moment to load. Yeah, good. So let's let's carry on. So the next thing I'm gonna be doing is just 
going into the setting of this and just change the color. And just change the color for this. I already have my color written down. You already know I've already done a, a test of this before to know the best option and colors and setting that will look very close to this our reference image by the side here in my left corner. So I'm not gonna change I'm gonna be changing only, only the color for this only the color. So I'm just going to type in my color in here. 0 0.238 then 0 0.190 0 0.162 0 0.162 and just close this I think that's all for now then I'm just going to go in and just kill and just kill this a tiny bit I don't want this pattern to be too visible to me so I'm just gonna go in and just type in and just type in 37 and it's okay okay and maybe I'll just turn this turn up my resolution to about 4K so you guys can't really see what's going on because as it is now you can't really see the patterns are kind of looking weird but if you go up to 4K you're gonna see, you're gonna appreciate the the pattern on on this so I'm not gonna go up to 4K and just let it load so it's gonna take few minutes to maybe less than a minute or or more to actually calculate my textures then you can get a better preview of what's going on in my in my in this particular texture set we're working on it's almost there yeah now you can actually see what's going on it's a better preview of what's going on this is it it's a better preview good so I'm just going to carry on. So I'm going to take, take this back, back to 2K. If not, I'm going to be having issues when I type in a setting. It's going to take longer time for you to calculate my textures. I'm going to go down to 2K. So we'll be doing this quite often. When we go and add change some settings, we're just going to turn it up to, uh, to 4K to see a better preview of what's going on in our, in this, on this texture set we're working on. So I'm not gonna go to okay. Um okay, yes. I'm not gonna go into my height setting, go to height and just change this up and just turn this down, turn down my height intensity to about something not so much as this. Okay, maybe something like 15 should do. 15 okay this is fine so it's there but because on 2k you can't really see what's going on but it's still there so looking at my reference image here it's not as intense as the way it was before that's why I have to turn this down to match up with something that 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 we have in my reference image yeah this image is not so clear for us to go so for us to zoom in and see what's actually going on on the surface of this leather bag but at least this resolution for this image is not too bad we can still see what's actually going on so let's just carry on and let's take this back to around 4k so I think we should take less than a minute to load yeah so as you can see it's there intensity is not that bad this is okay, we can carry on from here. So I'm just gonna take that back to 2K and just continue of texturing. Yeah, it does this sometimes, so the, the way to fix this is just to take it, maybe go back to like 1K, if you calculate and then go back to 2K. Let's see. 2K. 
Yeah, so that's when that does this at times. So all you need to do is just to change your resolution size and then that should that should fix it pretty sure. Maybe we should just carry on and then we change that back to 2K. We should correct that white default material given me. So um okay. I'm just gonna name this leather bag base. Then now I'm gonna add another layer of surface imperfection to my leather bag. Yes, I'm gonna add a new few layer and a new few. Okay. Then take that top to <coughs> top to two K. Then turn off color for this. Uh sometimes printer stay acting red. Okay. Let's see. Okay, let's carry on then. Go back to my base color. Turn off color. I'm gonna be needing only height for this. Turn off metal, rough and normal. So we're gonna work with only height. But we need the preview. If this if it doesn't work again, I'm just gonna shut this down and just reopen substance reopen substance painter again. Let's see, uh one key. <coughs> there. And two key. Okay. Let me just quickly save this and just restart substance painter. Saving. It's almost done saving. Okay. Oh, done saving. So I'm just going to close this and just reopen Substance Painter again. This is my file. I'm just going to open this. And yeah, the reason why I'm using this older version of Substance Painter is because when I got the new version, it's my graphics card couldn't handle it, it just kept crashing. So that's why I'm using this Substance Painter 2.2 for texturing. I think this should fix that error we are having. It just take, should take less than a minute to load. Okay. Mm. Oh, okay. Uh, it's loading. I'm not going to go back to my texture set here. Yeah, better. So, that's corrected the issue we're having. I'm just solo this. I'm going back to my layers and just continue working. <coughs> and just continue working on this. So now, Go back to our few layer and just name this surface details. Details. And go in and just add a procedural grudge texture on this. So I'm going to be using um, grudge, grudge scratches. Grudge scratches, grudge scratches, grudge scratches, fine, grudge scratch, fine. Yeah, this one. So the reason why I'm using this is because looking at my preview, I don't know if you can see the preview, looking at my preview, the scratch details are, are not as tiny. They are quite large, so I'm going to be using this to break up the surface of my of my leather material. So I'm just going to apply this here. So it's going to take a little moment to go better. So okay, we carry on, and then I'll just increase the scale a bit, <laughs> increase the scale a bit, because I don't want too much 
scratches on my back, so I'm just gonna increase the scale. Increase the scale. So about yeah, 30 is fine. Let me just type in 30 for this. And as you can see, I seeing some imperfection on my on the leather. <clears throat> so I'll just go into my height again and just take this down. I don't want it so much like so. So I'm gonna turn this down. Let's say it's something about 35 should work. 35. So it's not so much on the surface and then I'll just go into my into the setting and just play around with this the balance. Let's see. Take a moment to load. So let's see which one actually works best. Maybe I'll just take this down. Take this down. You know what? Let me take this back up so you, so you can actually see what's going on. Okay. So let's go down a bit more. Okay, I think this, this is close to what I think I want. Not too much crash, it's just a few to break up my to break up the surface. I think I'll just go with 0 0.16, I guess. Yes, 16. Mm. 0.16 okay not too visible but still there so the, around there you can see a bit of it we will just go to 4k so we can get a, preview, a better preview on this okay Let's let just go to around 4k. I don't want something so more, but something that's still there that just breaks up my surface a little bit. Uh, maybe this one might take a little longer to load. Because as you continue to layer things up on this, uh, taking it up to 4k should calculate all these details on your on your on my on my leather bag so it's gonna take maybe a little longer to calculate or calculate my my textures and also because I'm recording that's why it's taking longer also okay just let us give it a little moment to load or you can just skip this particular parts till when it's done maybe just fast forward it I think so I think until it's done but if you want to stick around with me and just wait till it loads up that's still fine yeah better so you can actually see what's going on here so I don't believe in this like this so I'm still going to add a level to this just make to those Tune down the opacity a bit more. So I'm not gonna go back to 2K and just continue working with 2K. It doesn't take too much time to load up my textures. Fine. Then I'm not gonna go into my base color and add a levels adjustment to this. Add levels. Then go into my levels and I want this to be affecting only my height channel. Uh, so I'll just bring this close. Okay. Uh, so we're gonna make this tight a bit closer to the this one back for the bit. So I already I already have a value I use for this. So the value I used for this that worked pretty well for me was 0 0.2, 0 0.026. 
Then I found this and I'm going I'm going to take up my the, the resolution of 4K also so we can get it provide a better preview when I when I'm done typing in the figures that I use that works for me. So I don't waste too much of your time. Zero seven zero point seven two six. I click enter for this. Okay. Then one more time, I'm not gonna take this up to two K and just let it load. Now uh, let's see. Hopefully this time it won't take it won't take too long to load up my textures. Just a moment for it to load. Okay. Um. Maybe after I just continue working without taking this up to 4K. But if your PC can do 4K resolution while you work, that's that'll be fine. So you can just work on 4K and just get a better, a better preview of what's going on on this so I won't, I won't want to be wasting too much of your time that's why I'm just going to do this for the last time and then okay oh crap I seem to just take that back to 2K that's not going to be so it okay so I'm just going to leave this as it is like you know the best number working with certain centers that all these are just procedural so you can just can always go back in and just die die the settings down or the intensity down and then get the private better preview of what's going on. So I'm not gonna carry on, so I'm not gonna go back to my height. Then take this down to value of thirty five like I did before and then this should be fine so just carry on. So I'm not gonna quickly save. Yeah, I always say because sometimes winter I just crash. Though it does pretty well, not crashing all the time. But always say it's a good habit to save. So yeah, let's let's carry on. So I'm gonna be creating a new few layer for this. So this this, this time I'm not I'm gonna be working with my trying just to break up the surface, the color surface for this. So go back to my base color and I want to work want to work with my base color for now. Then go and just turn off normal and I won't be needing height also. I won't be needing metal. Then I already have a color for this dark brown. So I'm just gonna input my figures again. Zero point zero zero six. <coughs> Then zero point zero zero three. Then zero point zero 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 to zero zero zero. Okay, this is fine. And for my roughness, I'm just gonna bring in a, another procedural crack texture to break up my roughness for this. So I'm just gonna be using a grudge, but this time a grudge dirt. I'm gonna be using a grudge dirt for this. I'm gonna be using this. Uh, this first one should work fine. Yes, it should work fine. So I'm gonna apply this on here. So as you can see on our preview, it's already breaking up the reflectivity of our of our bag. So definitely, I won't be leaving this like this because it looks awful like this. So I'm just gonna go in. And apply a smart max for this smart max to just break up the color information of my leather bag and the reflectivity also it will be all over the place like this. So I'm gonna go to a smart max and with smart max I'm gonna be using dirt dusty that's dusty so I'm not going to drag this and just apply this on here and then you might be wondering why it's not looking close to what you're having here but just pull along with me this is just to break up the surface 
yeah good um, I like I like this so I won't be doing much on on the setting for this but I'm just going to take this down take down the color information for this just take this down okay take this down the opacity to like something lower okay I think I'm gonna go for 52 52 for this okay so subtle but still there still there subtle but still there then I'll just carry on and let me I'll just let me I'll just name, name this dark brown dark brown dark brown brown color then I'll just leave this as it is and then I'll just carry on and keep texturing so I'm gonna create a new few layer for this and this one is gonna be slightly different so with this I'm gonna be increasing I won't be needing metal normal and height so I'm gonna put in a new color and for the roughness I just go about something like so and for the color I just input my figures again so this time I'm gonna be using 0 0.392 and zero point two five eight and zero point one one two seven okay it's fine okay Let me see if I got my colors correctly. Yes, the colors are fine. So for this, I'm just going to add a, add a black max. Add a black max on this. Then I'm going to be using a brush to just paint across this. So I'm going to be using a, a brush for this. Okay. Yeah, a brush for this should work. Then I'm not gonna introduce a a brush. A second, please. Go to my brush palette here and just type in dirt brush. Type in dirt brush. Yeah, dirt on this. So we have, have our dot brush now. I'm just going to this max here. Okay. Then for this base here, I want to introduce some kind of uh some kind of some kind of break up on my on my dot brush so I'll just go and proceed around just type in grudge grudge so this is gonna this is going to I'm going to add it to my gray scale this is going to break up the surface of my of my brush a bit more into a black and white value so as you can see the brush now changes the change in my brush so now I'm just going to look at my reference and just bring in my 2D view on this and just start painting so I think I'm going to shrink, shrink this like so and put this around here and then I'm just going to start brushing on this yeah, something like so so I'm gonna be looking at my reference image and just brush over. Take down my brush. And just print across like so. Okay. And just go in here also. 
and just add a bit more variations on this just paint across paint across like so now it doesn't have to be perfect just to break up break up our surface a bit more so i'm going to turn down my brush and just go into the edge go into my edge and just paint across on those edges paint across on those edges paint across like so Now I'm just breaking up my breaking up the surface of my my leather bag with some color information and just go back out increase my brush size go back to my 3D view and just go around and just keep breaking up the surface. this down a bit more like so take this down we go over to this edge and just take this down and add something like so here yeah. and just go around yeah, the reason why I'm not using a smart max for this is uh, maybe if I, I just wanted to have some kind of human feel to it, so I'm not, I'm not just using computer, computerized max to just break up my surface. But it's something that actually feels human, and that's me painting and painting on my garments here. So I might just leave this like so. Okay. And I'm just continue. I'm just continue texturing on this. So I think I'm satisfied with this looking. I can always delete this my gray scale and just turn this back to white and just paint off the portions I think is too much on my leather back before now. I think I'm gonna stick with this. And then I'll just turn down the opacity for my color, my base color to around something like so to like 50 is okay then I'm just gonna quickly save I'm gonna quickly save this then I go on and add a separate I'm gonna add, add a new okay that's been saving now just go in and just add a new few layer for this so let me just name this light light brown and name it paint across and then create a new fill layer for this this time i'm going to be i'm going to go in and just painting on the edges so i'm going to create a new fill layer for this new fill layer then turn off metal normal and height so i'm going to work with only my color and roughness for this okay then take this all the way like so then bring in i think it is a different color yeah a different color for this something close to the light brown but it is shifting the hue so i'm just going to type in 0 .0, 0 0.0.392 then go to the next 0. 215 and then 0 0.064 okay then add a black marks to this add a black marks black marks for this so I'm still gonna believe in this gray scale that I that I had for my the same brick cob that I had for my gray scale then now I'll just go in and just take down the brush size take down the brush size and just go with a closer view on this my edge and just 
painting and just painting so close and just painting uh so you want to go close to the edge so i'm going to be doing this on the entire edge of my leather bag uh, if, you, if you get bored you can just skip these parts but either way i still want to show you every single thing i did on this so i'm going to paint across on the edge just keep painting on the edge okay and just go and then yeah you don't have to be you don't have to okay maybe i should take this off so i have more space to do my 3d view and change the lights lights okay and just continue painting across continue painting across like so continue painting so I'm just going to continue painting the closer view on this and just paint Across. Yeah, someone else might have a better way of texturing this bag, this bag, but it's just my workflow. Just go across, like so. Go across to the other edge and just keep painting. Let's just keep painting. Mm, paint. We are painting some more here. We are painting some more. Like so. Painting more. Painting more. So I'm just going to keep painting. Yeah, it looks like a boring step, but when you already know this, it just makes your work look more appealing. Just keep painting. I just go back underneath here like so, and get a closer view on this, and just keep painting. So I'm gonna go and paint and. Paint, paint, paint everywhere. Paint, paint it. You want just continue painting? Paint this, paint across also. Just paint, paint across like so. Almost done. Almost done. So just keep painting across like so. Going on paint across also. Just paint. Let it down the both sides a bit more. So I don't don't have it. Uh, tiny edge. But I think this is not bad. I don't think we can deal with this. Maybe I'll just come in here and just paint a bit more. A bit more. A bit more. I'll paint a bit more like so. Okay, this is fine. So, I'll just carry on. Okay. Okay. Then I'll just um maybe maybe this would be a good time. Okay, maybe let me take this down. Take this down to about um to about ninety. And I think maybe we'll just add, add some 
I'm just thinking maybe we just add eyes to this and let's see if we can break up those edges a bit with some height information with the procedural texture also so I'm not going to be using something slightly different than a grudge maybe scratches so the fun part is that you can you can play with this until you're satisfied so all these are procedural so I'm, this is just me playing around so I think I'm already getting something interesting as you can see close to the close to the um, edges of my leather bag there's a kind of, there's a kind of break up if you, go, if, if you go to around 4k if you get a better preview on this but I think I'm not going to do that I'm going to do that later so if it's not too good I cannot take this back down but I know already that this height is just too much for this and then I might need to increase the scale a bit more maybe yeah maybe I increase the scale a bit more um okay um okay let's carry on then the height is too much definitely so I'm just going to go into my height and just take this back down don't need so much don't need so much height on this just too much let's see it's all the way okay all the way down is not too good maybe somewhere around here maybe somewhere around here should be fine And then below here is affecting too much of my of my of this of my garments of my leather bag. So I'm gonna go back to my base. Since since this, since this was painted, I just go back to my here and just turn this off, take this out, and switch with X. So I'm not gonna go to black here yeah. and increase brush size a bit. Think and just paint out some height information just too much. I don't want <coughs> I don't want the height to be too much as it is now. So I'm just going to go back and just <coughs> paint out the height. I think it's even a good way to work because I can actually control my height information, my color information on this. And just paint this back down. So we're not having something too uniform all across. And just paint out some and just leave some. And I'll go over to the other edges and paint out some and leave some. Okay. Uh, take this down, take this down. And just go across. Since I painted across also. Uh just take this down. Take this down a bit more. Mm, take this down. Mm, take some down and leave some. Yeah. Okay. It's not bad at all. I'm go and just do the same thing. Yeah, like so. Ah, uh, maybe some portion here too. Yeah, I think I'm not gonna. I'm not, then I'm not going to leave this as it is. It's fine. So I'm gonna quickly save again. Then we'll just carry on and do just carry on and do the next thing. So I'll name this uh edge paints and height. Okay. Then create a new fill layer for this. The new fill layer and then take off my metal and normal and height. So I will need those color and roughness. So I'm gonna input another color to this zero, zero, input this off zero point three nine two and zero point. Two three two three three and zero 
point zero seven eight. Okay. I'm gonna check again if my values are uh, correctly. Okay, this is fine. And then for this, I'm gonna be introducing another smart max for this, which is going to be my fabric. Fabric edge wear and just plug this into this layer here. And then you want to slow that, I'm just going to change the name. Okay. Oh, better. So I'm just introducing more color information on, this, on these edges. Definitely, uh, the opacity won't be as high as this. So I'm going to take this down to about 70. If you go find 70. Okay. Yeah, it's just me. I mean, trying to stay true to my reference image over here, and then yeah, definitely my roughness is gonna have to take this up to like so. I want this to be completely rough, very rough. Okay, then I'll just carry on. Let's see, you can name this to fabric edge wear. Fine, okay. And maybe I'll just go in and just blow this and just blow this a bit more. Maybe I'll just go something like so. Let's see. Yeah, it gives me what I want. Yeah, it gives me, definitely give me what I want. Maybe I don't want to be as blurry as this. Maybe I'll just go to something like take this down and introduce two. Let's see. Yeah, this is fine. This is fine. Maybe I just skew this down a bit, like so. Like around 88. And then this is good. We'll just carry on. I'm going to create a new few layer for this. Create a new few layer. A new few layer. And take out my height normal and metal. And increase roughness and just input another value, another color value for this. So this is going to be 0 0.392, then 0 0.233, then 0. Point, oh, this is only the, I should have made a duplicate of my previous previously created. Uh, few layers because they are having the same color info. Okay, it's fine. Then I'm going to be using a different smart max for this. This one is going to be stained, stained. Uh, let's see, stained, stained. Uh, I think stained scratches max. Yes, this should be fine. As you can see, the preview, the, pre the thumbnail for this is having some kind of scratch map attached to this that should fake scratch map attached to it that should as you can see that should fake something like this that goes across something here, something like this also, and something like this, and some break up that break up break up of the color that looks like scratches on uh, that looks like scratches on there. So as long as I apply this, you should get a better idea of a better preview of what I'm talking about so let's give the a sec to just load since all this is procedural so all this is procedural you can always change the setting if you want to well I think this is fine I don't need it to be too visible like so so I'm not going to tune down my overall the uh, opacity take this down maybe it's not like 41 should be fine 41 fine yeah this is not bad let's see yeah it's like I have too much of this picking out from behind but let me name this to stained 
scratch cheese scratch cheese okay so this is picking out too much uh, let's see let's see let's try a different for this different and uh blending mode okay so maybe i'll just leave it up normal and just take it down let's see yeah i think something like this is fine yeah, I think I'm going to take it back up because later on I'm still going to be knocking down my the color the color information on this down a bit more. It won't be looking as bright as this. So let's just carry on. And the next thing I'm going to be creating is um is another new another few layer for this. It's a different color. Uh, no height, no normal, no metal. But with color, my color for this is going to be 0 0.003, then 0 0.002, 0 0.002, and 0 0.000000. 000. This is black. Then for my roughness, I'm going to be introducing uh, another grudge grudge dirt this and then adding a different smart marks to this I'm gonna be using these spots for this and just drag this and just apply this on here and you're not seeing what's actually going on not much but once I go in and just increase decrease the scale a bit more Take down the scale I think the values are yeah. using 0 0.49 and it apply for this okay you can already see some splattered spots on this like here like in here I'm gonna go back here like so. I'm gonna go back here like so. Um. Okay. You see some spot already. See some spots in here and some spots in here. So maybe I'll just take this down. Maybe I maybe I just take this down. Something lower. Or maybe I just leave it the way it is. I guess. You know what? Let's just leave it the way it is. Just leave this the way it is. Maybe not. It's too shiny. I guess. Uh, something like okay. Something like it's one. It's one is fine. You just. You just. This just me breaking up the color surface a bit more with different color values. So I'm just gonna name this spots. Spots. Max. I'm just quickly save again. And just save this so this is fine okay then I'll just carry on and just create a new fill layer with a new fill layer and I'm gonna be needing roughness metal normal and height so this is fine this color is fine so I'm gonna change it to multiply. So this is just gonna knock down my all the color values on my on my leather bag. I think I use a value of nine at the end. Nine also nine. Okay, and instead of multiply, and I don't want it to be killing my color too much so I will go like something like so she does die down all this color info on my garment I mean on my bag so I'm just gonna name this 
gray and save again so I think we're done so it's the same process we're going to be applying all across various texture sets of our garments I think I might just go back into this edge fill edge paints here um, we'll go to the height for this uh, maybe I don't need too much height for this ok maybe before I do that maybe I, I should just go to like let's see maybe I can just go to like uh, maybe I should go to like 4 chaos I don't know ok you okay, know I want to take up my resolution to around 4 to 4k now so in our lesson let's see we're going to be taking that to 4k so that will be the first thing you're going to be seeing a preview of our texture in 4k so I'll see you in the next lesson in the next lesson we're going to be creating the uh, stitches for this so see you in the next lesson okay